War. Not exactly a new concept. At first, it was really about the coming of an empire. All the human kingdoms on the Isserian continent united under a single crown and a single religion. And in both cases, I can tell you they weren't just playing around. But the end result was there. The Emperor Damocles made humans his sword. It was when His Majesty decided he wanted to extend his influence to the southern lands that sparks began to fly. Because, well, the peoples of the south are beast-like green creatures eight feet high, all muscle and nerves, with a natural-born talent for war. So, it figures they resisted. Despite besieging their villages and even though the Imperial Army was far better organized, the damned orcs fought back with savage rage, and their victories were the kind remembered for ages. But Damocles wasn't just gonna sit there and take it. Protecting their territory behind a giant wall, the Empire would never give up land, and its ruler wasn't planning on standing pat. With the construction of the wall, the scale of the war began to alarm the neighboring provinces. Faced with the green peril, the Empire saw the elves and the dwarves as potential allies. With their support, a quick victory over the Greenskins was a certainty, and peace could finally return to the Isserian continent. Afterwards, it just remained to be seen what kind of peace would await the vanquished. Over the decades of conflict, the orcs were already beginning to figure it out. They were much sought after for their strength and toughness, and so, Grinding slavery was always going to be the result. Submit or die. Needless to say, for a goblin like me, things were going to be just as bad. We were there to be had like rats in a trap. Yeah, it's not easy being a greenskin on this fucking continent. You got my sympathy if that's your case. See anything on patrol, Butcher? No, nothing. No footprints. I climbed to the top of a hill to the northwest and saw the heath and their fucking wall to the north. It would make a good lookout point till nightfall. Excellent. The Resistance found us a good place to camp to wait for what comes next. You, stand watch there. We'll change every three hours. and wanted to see you, Butcher. He's probably somewhere around the falls. I'll go see him. Very good. Rest for an hour, then take a look around the eastern part. We'll have to stay on our toes now. Dissidents or not, it's tough to trust humans. Difficult to trust anybody. Understood. to know why we were brought here something big it's just the worst of us in this one even the chief's gonna get his hands dirty jar hill really we gonna kill the emperor or what ha why not that wouldn't hurt us a bit <laughs> him or another quars doesn't change much 
We still have human allies, our guy. It's not over yet. Apparently, in the time of his father, life was really different from one province on the continent to the next. And it doesn't matter how hard they try, they'll have a tough time finding worse than the Emperor who gave us the Inquisition, massacred our clans, and enslaved our brothers for decades. And the throne would be empty the whole time. We could enjoy that. Ha! Huh. Go back down to Earth. You don't send out a blood jar raiding party to go on parade. But there are limits, you know. With or without allies among the Quarsan, four of us ain't gonna pull off what our armies couldn't do when we were at our strongest. All of this reeks of a last stand, or a suicide mission. Hey, show some guts, Bloodjaw. Come on, defend yourself, it'll do you good. Shit, Arkai, relax. You get angry way too fast. You gotta learn to control that rage of yours, brother. Nobody wants to see you losing control, you know. You think nothing can stop you, but you lower your guard completely, not to mention the time it takes you to come back down after. I could have killed you several times over. No shit, I noticed. But each time I get hit, I'm back in Bay Harbor again. And I go mental. One more reason not to get hit, and not to keep trying with a technique that isn't working. I told you to defend yourself, and you went straight to the attack. Instead of going on the defensive while I'm talking to you as a friend, do it while you're fighting. You not only get hit less than when you're in an attacking stance, you also control your rage better, and that gives you the time to study your opponents. Come on, let's try again. Only this time, you parry my attacks in a defensive stance. Thanks, Arkin. I appreciate your advice and what you're trying to do, but what I really need is some way to blow off steam, not a fucking combat lesson. Help! Help me! I'm being followed. I have a message from Lord Barryman for the Blood Jaws. What's it about? And where'd you come from? You Mother Earth. You have what you wanted, Berserker. They're all yours. I'll get this messenger somewhere safe. Safe from your murderous rage. Thank you. You're the Butcher, right? A real killing machine. I thought you were a legend. Shut it, human. Go see our chief in the tent. He was expecting you this evening. I know I'm not telling you anything new, Arkai, but be real careful with that. You've got to control your rage. It can't control you. Okay, shut the fuck up, all right? I'll catch up with you. Today is the greatest honor an orc can hope to receive. You are here for the most important mission in your life, and perhaps in the history of our people. This war has gone on too long, and our enemy is more powerful than ever. But Mother Earth has not abandoned us. We have allies. For a while now, We've been preparing our counterattack with their support, but events are speeding up, and fate has turned against them. We have to move fast, now! It's time to put an end to the genocide that's been ravaging our people for decades. An end to this campaign of hate waged against us by the other peoples. My brothers, 
we must strike our enemy's head. Today, we are setting off to kill the Emperor. It will be a long and arduous journey. Each of you will receive specific instructions. Needless to say, these instructions, just as your entire mission, must remain entirely secret. You're in enemy territory. Trust no one. Ha! You said something about a suicide mission? It's worth a shot. Butcher! We'll start with you. Follow me! The rest of you wait outside. Archive, you go to the wall. A guide will be waiting for you near the east entrance. His name is Styx. He will guide you to the mire in the lower floors of the Inquisition's tower, where you will contact the Resistance. Do nothing that might endanger them. They'll find you. Don't look for them openly or talk about your mission with anyone else. The mire is teeming with traitors. You have been warned. The Resistance will help you find High Mage Arkens, who's being held in the tower. The first part of your mission involves freeing her from the Inquisition. This is critical, Bloodjaw. Arkens will then help you reach the Island of Laments, your final destination, where your only task will be to kill the Emperor at all costs. Questions? That was the first time I've heard you say my name, Jarhill. What's up with you? That's true, Bloodjaw. It's a mission for the Butcher of Bay Harbor. But if I don't call you by your real name today, I doubt I ever will. Huh. <laughs> you expecting me to fail? As long as one of us kills the Emperor, nobody will have failed. But yeah, you probably won't come back, Butcher. I probably won't come back either. But that still doesn't mean I expect you to disappoint me, or I wouldn't have chosen you. If you have to die at the Wall, you will at least have drawn the attention of the humans, like moths, to the flame. So your brother Bloodjaws will be able to get through more easily. Got it. Fine. If I gotta die so you can get across, I'll do it. And the Quarson will see only me. No, Arkai. Your mission is the same as ours. You have to do whatever you can to reach and kill the Emperor. As far as getting their attention goes, don't worry about it. You'll do it anyway. I know you, Butcher. <laughs> so, basically, I cross the wall, get to the mire, where hopefully the Resistance will contact me, then I free this Arkent from the Inquisition, go off with her to the Island of Laments, and kill the Emperor? Everything's clear. Had easier jobs, but what the hell. And you know things always get complicated when you're in the field, Bloodjaw. If you're ready, go now. You should be able to reach the wall during the night. Good luck. I'm ready. The Butcher of Bay Harbor. Bunch of assholes. They made sure they didn't tell me who I was dealing with. They just gave me a name. Archai. As if they'd even used it since that fucking battle. No point in wondering what the world would be like today if I'd had any freaking clue what was going on. I would have said no. First thing, no fucking way. But to be honest, I already knew it wasn't gonna be a walk in the park. The Blood Jaws never screw around. Cold as death and twice as savage. Fucking terrifying. But I was blinded by the smell of money, okay? 
I was gonna be really well paid just to play the guide and get the killing machine to the other side of the wall. And if everything went well, as a bonus, piles of those pale guys were gonna get killed. No kidding. Who could turn down a sweet deal like that? I'm the guy. Okay. Glad it was easy hooking up. On the other hand, it's gonna be a little bit trickier than I thought. The Inquisition is around. The doors are closed and there's a curfew. They're not letting anything or anybody through. It's a real mess. Why the hell did they give me a rock ash as a guide? Vermin, huh? Maybe because whatever you think, I'm still the best. I want to know more before I follow you, rock ash. What can I say? You can't just walk up to the wall, knock on the door and say, Good morning, I'm here to assassinate the Emperor, and expect them to open up. You gotta take other paths. And that's where I come in. You still don't get it. I want to know more about you. Me? Well... Listen, Rakash. I never saw a goblin that could talk, let alone be a guide. <sighs> Look, you're right. The other goblins are idiots. But I'm a survivor. Actually, I'm so old I could be your grandfather. My grandfather? You watch your mouth, asshole! My grandfather was an honorable warrior, not some... Okay, okay, no offense. It's just an expression. What I mean is I'm a lot older than the others. A hell of a lot older. I've survived. And to survive, you gotta be smart. Is that a good enough explanation for you? Can we go now? You don't get it. I'm not putting my mission in danger by following some stupid goblin. Get out of here. I'll get there on my own. You're the one who doesn't get it, buddy. You even seen the wall? The size of the shanty town? You think you got a chance? Listen, let the pro do his work. And believe me, what they're paying, there's no point in me looking for trouble. All right. I don't like it, but I don't really have a choice. You go first. One wrong move, and I'll rip your head off and shit in the hole. Bullshitting. They even closed up here. Wait for me. There's a passage just over there. I'll go and open the door.
call that patrolling, scumbags? Get those feet moving. I want to hear the sound of your boots, or there won't just be wood on the fire the next time you take ten. Ah, oh, shit. We can't go that way. What? Because of those four runts? Look, if we start beating everyone up, we'll never get out of here. Especially seeing as how they just got told off. If we get involved in that, the entire place will be all over our asses. You're scared. Yeah, I'm shaking like a leaf. Seriously, what did I tell you before? You gotta be discreet, like, subtle. You can't just go wading in like a pig that sees a pile of shit. We should go around. We can go down that alleyway over there. Because there's no militia over there? There'll be a lot less of them. We should be able to handle them my way. Quietly. Shit. I don't think I can do this on my own after all. You wanted militia? You got militia. Whatever. Enough talk. Let's get this open. Try not to shout too loud and we'll be fine. I don't need to shout to take out those damn... Straight as a pubic hair, and loves kissing his boss's ass. Damn traitor! I'll tear him to pieces! You'll get more than you can handle if you start that. Anyway, no point raising a sweat over it. Just slip his boss a present, and he'll leave us alone like a good little dog. But... Can you pretend to be a slave? You think I'm gonna kiss ass in front of a Khorasan? Or even worse, in front of a Rakash? Look, I know you don't like the idea, but if it means staying out of the fight... All right, forget it. I'll make as if you're my bodyguard, but keep your mouth shut. Whatever happens, you got that? Yeah, got it. So, Sticks, got a new boyfriend? From the size of him, you gotta be feeling a little sore, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that's why I'm walking funny. <laughs> and you're so in love you forgot about the curfew, right? Listen, I had a few troubles lately, which is why I got muscles here. And I'm outside right now. So, can't you just say you never saw me? You know, things have changed, son. The Inquisitors are really interested in guys like you. Give me a reason not to call. How about... because you got something on the books with Sarkis that I could take care of? Well, if you put it that way, works for me. Didn't see you. Come on, boys, let's move on! Bodyguard. Never heard of anybody so pathetic you take that kind of contract. You're either really desperate or a serious piece of shit. At least I'm still clear, fucking traitor. Traitor? Who the hell do you think you are calling me a... Oh, shit! Your dog off his leash there, Sticks? Come on, boys. Let's teach this bastard a lesson. Shove his teeth down his throat! It's the blood saw! Quick!
Didn't I tell you to keep your mouth shut whatever happened? Now we're in deep shit because you can't control yourself. He insulted me. Damn traitor. No right to call himself an orc and he dares talk to me. I don't give a shit if that idiot insulted you. I told you to keep a lid on it for a reason. Only an orc would recognize your mark. But you had to let him get to you. And to top it off, you let him see your fucking tattoo. Now everyone in the city is gonna be on the alert. They pissed themselves if they even hear the word, Bloodjaw. They'll do anything to get you, and fast. What do you suggest? What do I suggest? <sighs> you follow me, we go straight to my hideout in the Ruin Tower, and if we come across any guards, you... You... Yeah, I know. I keep my damn mouth shut. The Bloodshaw! That's him! Get him! Quick! We're almost safe. My hideout is right behind there. Finally, this is my hideout. <laughs> we can take it easy here. The members of the Black Hand don't want to get caught by the militia either. That's Fox. She's got eyes and ears everywhere, and believe me, it comes in handy. That's Spearhead, a true fucking master with the metal. You might want to go see him, just your dick and a knife won't be enough on the other side. That's the last in the corner. He's the last survivor of his tribe. Pretty damn tough if you ask me. You got lots in common. Maybe you should try and bring him into your knitting circle. And up there, that's Monkey. He's the boss here. We'll say hi to him just to stay on his good side. Hey, still alive, scumbag? Kicking and screaming! Arkai, this is the Monkey, Captain of the Black Hand. Skip the small talk. Get us to the other side. I'm on a mission. Hey, take it easy. First, we're gonna catch our breath here. Anyway, Sarkis is the guy who can get us past the wall, and he doesn't live here. We'll go see him later. If we don't have anything else to do here, let's go see your Sarkis now. I don't see any reason to collect dust here. Hey, did you see how they reacted to your tattoo? The Inquisitors are gonna be after you day and night. And the militia, too. So, we're gonna rest up here until things quiet down a bit. There's no choice. The Goblin is right. Anyway, your business will take time. Sarkis is gonna ask you for something, in exchange for getting you across. He's not gonna do it because he thinks you're cute. But Jarhill spoke about a caravan. Why don't we join that? The caravan is blocked on the other side of the wall. With the Inquisition here and the town locked down, nothing is like it was before. We got no choice. We have to change our plans. All right, but keep the schemes to yourself. Just do what you need to do to get me across. Fast. That's what you're getting paid for. Okay, okay. Look, we make sure we got everything we need, and as soon as we're ready, we go see Fox so she can get us out. Hi. Welcome, Bloodjaw. Please allow me to give you this. Consider it my contribution to the mission that brings you here. What's this for? If you're here, it means there's something big in the air. And if you stay equipped like that, you won't get very far. The least I can do is give you this knick-knack. For the rest, you can trade, of course. 
But if you want anything really good, you'll need to fight. Fight with who? The Black Hand has a tradition, the challenge. If you beat one of us fair and square, he has to give you something worthy of the fight you won. You'll probably take me to pieces, but tradition is tradition. I'll go easy on you. Strength of the Blood Jaws is no mere legend. Here, take this. It's my reward. This was my father's armor. It'll drink more enemy blood when you wear it than on a hook at my forge. Thank you. I'll wear it well. So, who should I challenge now? Fox! She's next! But watch out. She may not look like much, but she's a fantastic fighter. And a nasty one, too. <laughs> hey! Still alive? Absolutely. You know I can't be killed. You gonna introduce me to your friend? Uh, just a wild guess, but it wouldn't happen to be the famous Bloodjaw, would it? The one causing all the panic around here? Oh yeah! The very same. Your sources are as good as ever. Fox, this is Arkai. Arkai, this is Fox. Hey, nice move, Arkai. Not the smoothest, are you? I like that. <laughs> I like a little fun. Watch out for my friend, though. He can be an absolute bastard, but he's all right. Ha! <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I look out for him. Dumped out here on his lonesome. <laughs> he may be tough, but he wouldn't last ten minutes on his own. You got that right. So, what can I do for you? I beat Spearhead. Apparently, you're next? Yeah. But first, you should take care of your business with Sarkis. Better not to keep that guy waiting. We'll fight when you get back. Let's go. We gotta see Sarkis. Okay, but watch yourselves. The Brotherhoods are on the edge, and apparently there's a price on your heads. Stay low. Don't worry. They didn't waste any time. Look. We got our pictures everywhere. That means we're gonna have every dirt bag in the place on our asses. If you want my opinion, we should get out of here fast. By the way, this is called the Gem District. Kind of a nice way to say it's the biggest shit pit around. The worst vermin in the city live here. The Empire used to tolerate them, and even deployed them from time to time. Now, though, the locals are starting to feel the heat. It's not gonna make things any easier. Of course, Sarkis lives right in the middle of this pile of shit, at the entrance to the catacomb. What's down there? The wall didn't just grow, you know. Thousands of slaves died here. We don't talk about it. For us, everyone who comes out here is a goner. They don't exist anymore. It looks like you heard right. There's fucking bones everywhere. And inside, there's lots of people hiding. Deserters. Murderers. With the goblins, Sarkis controls this entire world. You trust this guy? You crazy? I'd rather trust a fucking scorpion. But it's like I said, we need him. He controls all of the catacombs and sewers through the goblins. Don't know how he did it, bastard. But he's got them running around for he trained them to protect his territory and bring him whatever they find digging around in the human shit. And there's a lot of that. You know how many fucking soldiers live in the wall? Thousands, Ark. Thousands. And I'll tell you something. This guy, Sarkis, he's been breathing in all that shit for way too long. He's a completely psycho headcase from hell. So, ready to meet him? Let's go see this guy. Okay, one last thing. I don't know what he's going to ask for, but there's no choice. Don't forget that, okay? This nutcase is our only way in. Hey, Sticks! Oberth wants to talk to you. That way. 
So, what does that little crook want with me? And why the hell is it any of our business? Mm -hmm. Oboth is pretty sneaky, but he's not the worst. He wouldn't lay such an obvious trap. On the other hand, if we snub it, he sure as hell won't like it. It's your call, but I think we should go. It's not that much out of our way. Sticks at last. Oba! Things going well, I hope. Yeah, right. Things have been going to the dogs around here the last little while. Nothing's like it was. All or nothing. Ah, the Inquisition, right? Among others. There's your pictures plastered everywhere, too. Nice to look at. But a lot of people are getting hard ons. A little easy money is always nice. <laughs> Don't bullshit me. I know you. If we're talking, it's because you need something from me. Spit it out. Always so direct. Okay, to the point. The Inquisitors have been causing hell. Some gangs are splitting up, others reinforcing. Mine is more or less in the right category. My problem is that Jared's is too. I don't give a shit about your stories. Let's go. Shut the fuck up, you pile of shit. You're hardly in a position of strength. I can still take you out and claim the reward. Listen, we're kind of tense, you know? So tell me, what's the situation? Weren't you and Jared buddies? Yeah, he's been doing deals with the Inquisitors since they got here. He took care of a lot of things around here by selling out dealers. If I let him get away with it, it'll be my turn soon. Yeah, let me guess. Jared's become... inconvenient? You might say that, but I can't attack him directly. The other gangs would take it badly. So, uh, it'd be better for everyone if you and your friend looked after it, if you see what I mean. Uh-huh. What's in it for us? Me and my men will leave you alone. And I can give you back the daggers you lost at Dice the other day. Uh, it's not really enough. But those daggers mean a lot to me. Consider it done. We were going that way anyway. I'll see you there. Come on, boys. We're out of here. Forget about these things. Anyway, we're not coming back. Hey, it's the guys with the bounty on them. The first to get the fat one gets paid double. Good work, Sticks. I knew I could count on you. So hello, payday. Your daggers, as promised. Oh, and I put the word out. My men will leave you alone. Oh, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Careful, though. There's Inquisition patrols everywhere in the neighborhood. Are you watching your brethren getting slaughtered like that? No, I'm not like them. I'm a survivor. But if we want to meet up with Sarkis, we're gonna have to get rid of these scumbags. 
They're camping out right in front of this door. Nice of you to clean our doorstep sticks. Good timing. Sarkis is expecting you. Follow me. And don't go getting yourselves lost. Talk about a maze. If this guy weren't here, we'd be completely lost. Well, well, what do we have here? The famous bloodjaw who's been terrifying the militia. <laughs> Does it speak? Take it easy, Ark. Yeah, it speaks. And it's as dangerous as they say. Anyway, let's not waste time on chit-chat. What's it gonna take to get us through? Hmm. You'll do. What do I want to get you across? The Inquisition is pissing me off. They're fucking around with my business. I want you to get even for me. What exactly do you mean? My business runs smoothly, thanks to your brother's sticks. The goblins are like children to me. Ha! <laughs> I'd have said you're dogs, but I don't want to insult your family. You can't see how much affection I have for them. I protect them from themselves and others. You form attachments, understand? Yeah, okay, if you say so. Right, so it's the Inquisition. What do you want us to do? Strike at their very heart. You know they're based in the past. They requisitioned the Pilgrim's Chapel. I want this chapel burned to the ground! Sounds more like revenge than anything else. You really think that'll solve anything? Hmm, maybe not. But I want these Inquisitors, these fucking sons of bitches, to roast like they've burned my children. I want the smell of their burnt flesh to fill, to smother the whole shanty town. I want to hear them crying over their dead. <laughs> hmm, you're about to lose it, buddy. Not good for business. If that chapel burns, the Inquisition will recall its hounds. I get control back, and I get you across the wall. So, you need some kind of diversion? Punishment. The disciples of the Grand Inquisitor are quartered in the chapel. That scumbag kills my children. I kill his. I want to hear him wailing over the corpses of his disciples. That's what I want! There's something seriously wrong with this guy. Let's go. We got no choice. His plan is completely insane. Do you really think the Inquisition will leave after something like that? They are burning and torturing my children! Why not send your own men to do the dirty work? I have to cover my tracks. You know what I mean. I don't want this leading back to me. If you fail... I'll find another way. For now, you are my best option. Yeah. The chap, can you take us there? Oh, it's chaos down there. But I can let you out in the pass. That'll help. I'll do better than that. Raven will take you back to the Black Hand hideout through the tunnels, so you can get what you need. He'll take you to the pass when you're ready. All right. We'll do it. But I'm counting on you to get us past the wall when this is over. I still think this plan is weak. The smell of burning flesh. That will be our signal. Once its scent is in the streets, I will get you across to the other side. This passageway is the property of Sarkis. If you want to use it, you go through me. As soon as you are ready, I'll take you to the chapel. Does your passageway lead to the chapel? Not far away. I can bring you out in the pass quarter. Hang on a second, buddy. If you can take us inside the wall, why can't you take us to the other side? I've got gold. We could come to an understanding. You don't betray Sarkis. You've got a job to do. 
The last wall is pretty serious stuff. There's only one passageway underneath, and it's blocked by the Inquisition. So a diversion. Okay, we'll be back soon. One last thing. There's an orc like you who thought he could get through without us. Like me? Yep, like you. Same build, same tattoo. You know where he is? No, but I know where he'll end up. He was caught by the Inquisitors. He did? Maybe. But I think that they'll kill him in public. As an example. That's what happens to people who think they can do without Sarkis. I get it. You don't have to go on about it. We know you're indispensable. You guys need me? I beat Spearhead. Apparently, you're next? You watch it, Arkai. Don't think that just because I'm a girl, it'll be easy. I don't come after Spearhead for nothing, you know. The fact you're a girl doesn't change anything for me, Fox. Our females know how to fight. You are human, though. Let's see. Try, but you're just not up to it. Give Monkey a shot. It's his turn now. I think you owe me a reward. Take it easy. I know that's why you took me on. Take this armor. I can't use it anyway. It's way too big for me. I want to challenge you, Monkey, according to the Black Hand tradition. You beat Fox, I'm your man. I'll show you what the Captain of the Black Hand is worth. Bring it on. Good work, Bloodjaw. To be honest, you weren't bad, and I just wasn't up to it. Take this talisman. I've had it for a while. You'll need it to challenge the last. Greetings. So, you're the blood draw. That's me. What did you do to end up here? Who did you kill? Hey guys, relax. It's not the time. Drop it, our guy. I want to challenge you in the tradition of the Black Hand. I have more important traditions to worry about, blood draw. Don't piss me off with that shit. There you go. The chapel is right there. Nice bonfire material. It's gonna be hell in there. And it seems the disciples are inside. The Grand Inquisitor's gonna be pissed, guys. You'd better not hang around. I'll wait for you here. Don't worry about us. We going, pal? Finally, they're gonna pay in blood. Hey, snap out of it. On a mission, remember? We're not here to bathe in blood. But... The Inquisition tramples our beliefs and denies our existence. They want to wipe my people off the face of the world. Ah, play me another sad song and I'll cry on your shoulder. You talk too much, Rakash. I warned you. Take it easy! Calm down. You're gonna be needing it. What the fuck? Shit, man, that guy's a serious nutcase. Keep it simple. We can use those. We go around with the torches and set fire to whatever burns. The door. It's gonna burn, so they can't get out. No mercy, huh? Okay, we do the door last and then we beat it.
all that screaming. You hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Let them squeal. So these are the greenskins our pathetic militia couldn't catch. The hunt is over. Done. The disciples! They're frying, dickhead! My disciples! Kill them! Here, hurry. No need to tell us twice. You did good work. Now it's my turn. As soon as you're ready, we'll go down. Mind your step, though. It's a one-way trip. No coming back. If you get into the sewers, you get to the other side of the wall. It's as simple as that. So, you sure you want me to take you to the other side? Yes. It's time for some serious business. You talk to the guys? Got everything you need? Yes, we're going. We're almost there. After you. Mm. I got a bad feeling about this. This place stinks of a trap. Traitor! Come back here! You are surrounded. My men have you in their sights, creatures. Give yourselves up and you may live. Save your breath for your last rites, human. I am Archive. Heir to the Red Breath tribe. I am a Bloodjaw, and my blood belongs to the Hotlands. I was born, I live, and I will die on my feet. Yeah, what he said. Better here than on the torture racks. If such is your wish, kill them! So I've been sold out, Rakash? That bastard! He sold us out. No sense of honor. To do that. To me. I thought I could trust you, Rakash. To arms! Shut down the sector! Don't let the criminals escape! Okay, fine. I fucked up. I don't know where Raven gave us to slip, but we shouldn't stick around. Let's get back to the surface and I... You gab all you want. I'm not following you anymore. As of now, I do it my way. Hey, wait, okay. It's a bit of a setback. Some people are dead, but I can make up for it. 
I have the contacts and I... Shut your fucking mouth, Rakash. Shut it. I'd love to kill you, but I still need you. Get your ass in gear and get us out of this hole. Then we'll go see Sarkis. We'll have a nice little chat. My way. Fine by me. We'll stay in the catacombs to shake the soldiers. Get this door open. I'll keep them back. Pick up the pace. Trapped! Shit, we're goners. We gotta jump. Huh? You're kidding, right? I said jump! Hold on! Uh, think about it just a second. We can uh, barricade the door or, or get ourselves up. <laughs> That'll give us some time and then... <laughs> your feet. Come on, wake up, asshole. Uh, that was a bit of a drop. <clears throat> Where are we? I think we're in the bowels, the lower part of the catacomb. Going by the stench, anyway. If <sighs> This place reeks of death, rats, and worse. And we're gonna have to go even deeper into these tunnels. around these bowels. Are you insane? Only scum come down here. It's infested with goblins and mutts. <laughs> no choice anyway. Come on. What's he talking about? He's a shaman. He sees what you can't. Ooh, mystical. And can he see the way out? What's your name, brother? Arkai of the Red Breath. Arkai? You can hear it too. Your brothers are buried here. Mother Earth led you here. You must come with me. Sorry, shaman. I'm on a mission. I have to get past the wall as fast as possible. Can you help us? But you cannot refuse the call of Mother Earth. I am a guide. 
I have need of strong spirits, souls forged and bathed in the blood of humans. Come with me, Arkai. No, I don't really have a choice. I can't stay here. Why do I have the feeling this isn't gonna turn out for the best? I'll come back if Mother Earth wants me to. But first, I have to get past the wall. No, no, Arkai. Your presence here is a sign. Another Jarrosh like you is here. He will be happy to die with you. I will sacrifice you together, and you will be my hounds, my hunting dogs. Another bloodshot? What's this about dogs? If you could hear the wailing of the Lost Ones, you wouldn't hesitate. They are watching you, brother, and they know you can guide them. Mother Earth demands it. This guy's talking bullshit. Let's get out of here. Uh, for once you're right. We've lost enough time. No! You must die. Join them, you and Arkham. Two brothers in arms to die the lost ones. You said Arkin. Your blood jaw is called Arkin? Yes, and he is ready to show the Lost Ones the path of Mother Earth. And with you, they will be saved. Tell me what you've done with my brother, or you'll guide the souls yourself. What madman would spill the blood of a shaman? You've gone mad, Alkai. You must be stopped. But your soul can yet serve Mother Earth. To me, my slithering servants! Catch him and bring him to me in the room of whispers. Kill the goblin! I have no need of him! Come, meet your death! I can feel fresh air coming from this passageway. It's a way out. Wait a second. He spoke about Arkin. He's one of my brothers. Huh? We'll worry about that later. We gotta get out of here now. Shit! Glad to see you're still alive, boys. Raven told us the Inquisition had you cornered. Yeah, well, they didn't corner us on their own, you know. Raven sold us out. That son of a bitch. He's there, talking with the monkey. He says the place is blown, and we should hide out with Sarkis. <laughs> we'll take care of him. You're in for it, boy. You're gonna regret insulting the Black Hand. I'll take my time, believe me. A lot of time. Stop. I had orders. Sarkis made the call. I didn't have a choice, you know. I'm sure we can agree on something. There must be some way of doing it. Don't break him, please, monkey. I need him to get to Sarkis. I don't have a choice anymore. I need this bastard to take us to the other side. You forget my brother Bloodjaw. We've got to save him from that crazy shaman. The shaman of the bowels? There's a bunch of people who want his ass. I've never had enough men to get into the catacombs and take care of him. That orc is dangerous, completely insane. But we know where he hides out. Fox scattered it out. No, we gotta get going. Sarkis will figure out his plan is fucked up. We gotta go, and we gotta go right now. Silence, Rakash. We're going to save my brother Bloodjaw, and get past the wall with him. That's not a good idea. Your buddy's got to be dead. Sarkis is our last chance to get past the wall. We can take the initiative again. If we don't, we'll be stuck here in this fucking trap. I'll take the chance. We go down and get him out of there. A warrior among the brave. I expected no less of you, Arkai. 
We're keeping Raven on ice for you. Come on. Shit. We had to come back here, huh? This place gives me the creeps. I can feel them. Feel what? The goblins? The inquisitors? The creeps? The dead. I feel their presence. The shaman was telling the truth. So what? You want to serve your soul on a plate in the name of all the orcs who died building the wall? Mm, no. Let's go. Keep your distance, Arkai. Don't make me cut his throat. What? You had something else in mind? Free him. No, wait. You don't understand. I can't free him. We're almost there. There is a reason for all this suffering, brother. Unless we give up now. Look at him. He knows. He knows! Free him. Right now. And you too, hmm? You hear him? Tell me. Why do you inflict this pain? To hear them, brother. You say you can sense them, but you must be able to speak with them. Communicate with them through suffering. See this blood? It is a call, a watering hole to draw our lost ones. That's enough. For the last time, free my brother, or you will take his place. Very well. Let it be so. I have failed. He was already just about dead, Ark. He would never have survived the journey. You did what you could. So, can we go now? Just a second. Please. There's only two of you. Too late? Yeah. But my brother's soul is free. I have avenged him. I'm sure his soul has already bathed in the breath of Mother Earth. I'll do him honor. Let's get back to Fox and the Monkey. They're negotiating for a new hideout. And they kept Raven on ice for you. Excellent. You still need me? You'll get across, I'm sure. You're all right, Arkai. It's been a pleasure meeting you. I hope we'll meet again, here or in the Great Breath. Farewell, brother. I'm not going further. You want me to finish what the monkey started? You don't betray Sarkis. Not him. You don't exactly have a choice, buddy. This is his place. You're gonna fail and he'll take me out. I'd rather die. Well, well. He's really scared. Raven! You couldn't go for the legs? Now what do we do? Hey, I'm a professional. It's not my fault I got reflexes. We'll get by. We can't be far. What are all these things? Hey, it's talking about greenskins. Goblins in particular. Check it out. From the soul of the goblin. Treaties on animal instincts. Not something you see every day. Big deal. Let's go. Hang on a second. That's recent. It looks like butcher's work. 
What? Examining a corpse, but... Huh? That's sick. The goblin wasn't dead. He was butchered alive. What do you know, really, about Sarkis? I thought he was protecting the goblins. He's the only one who can control that many. That's how he got an Imperial concession for the sewers. And all that? Experiments. And nasty ones at that. What for? I have no idea. We'll soon find out. You came this far. That's troublesome. That's disgusting. This guy's sick. We gotta take him out. First we get across the wall, and then we play with him. It's almost over. Come on, come on, you are perfect. Drop that and get ready, traitor. I'm impressed. You escaped the Inquisition, and you made it this far. And Raven? Dead. Naturally. I betrayed you, all's fair, you know? We had a deal. True, but there's the Grand Inquisitor. You burnt people he looked on as sons. I loved him, believe me. The smell. Mm. But a rumor has spread. Seems you disfigured him. He tripled the price on your heads. He would have sold everything he had to pay the bounty. I couldn't just walk away from such a reward. Matter of decency and credibility. You know how it is. Nothing personal, just business. You're gonna tell us how to get to the other side of the wall. Then I'm gonna kill you. <sighs> Relax, children. Relax. Your experiments. Why? You are an exception, Styx. They are the reality. Their despair, their brutality. You could have tried to understand them, but you did nothing. What were you trying to do? Teach them to read? Leave them alone. No, no. Maybe we're responsible for what they are. Guilty of their regression. You are doubtless the proof. You may incarnate what they should have been. Where do they come from, Sticks? They appeared spontaneously about a century ago, and spread like the plague. We hunted them. We exterminated them. What were they fleeing? Where were they going? I want answers! You ask too many questions. For fuck's sake, they're animals! You and me, we're talking now. You ever talk to a dog? Or a horse? Bullshit! I was better than the others. Stronger. Tougher. I survived the swamps. I held on. Exactly. You're not an accident. You're not an exception sensitive to the fluid. You're a goblin, like the others. Except that you were lucky. You adapted. Why not try it with the others? That's bullshit, too. You live with them, you do nasty things to them, and you get nothing out of them. They're just rats you're trained to do chores and clean up soldier shit. I need more time. More time! I have to make sacrifices. Smother my affection, my feelings. So the weakest open the way for the strongest. Enough! Okay, that's it. I just got hold of a map of the sewers. 
We don't need him to get to the other side anymore. Why don't you just kill him? I've got a better idea. No! No! Don't do this! They haven't been prepared! Please! Sticks, please! I can give you everything I know. There are secrets here! Secrets about you! <sighs> Too late, buddy. Nothing personal. You know, just business. are in front of the way out. So? You wanna talk or you wanna fight? Move it! I'm sick of this rat hole. That's it! The way out! Didn't I tell you? We're through the fucking wall! <sighs> I told you I'm the best. A minute too soon. I'm not getting paid to wait for you. There'll be late charges. Great. Right. Get in there. Let's get this over with. <laughs> the hell are you doing? Relax. Do what you're told. You'll live longer. Come on, move it. We're delivering the merchandise. Sticks, you traitor! Rakash! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been a real pleasure for me, too. Have a good trip, buddy. Use the time to think up some new insults, okay? Well then, comfy. The cage is a bit narrow, I'm afraid. Even for one of your kind, you're pretty big. Hey, just tell yourself in four days it'll be over. You'll be able to stretch your legs and start your new career. Huh. Should have seen the face on that big hunk of beef when he understood I wasn't just along for the ride. Seems the bastard went three days without sleeping or eating before he finally passed out. Woke up naked with his ass covered in bruises. But then, who hasn't done that, right? But it's hard when you're an orc who never drinks. Of course, that was nothing compared to what was waiting for him in the mire. That's where they all end up. Enslaved by the humans. Breaking rocks all day long. The rest of their lives. And that's the lucky ones. Hey, gotta say what's what. Whether it's with their fucking wall, or their giant towers, there, they still did a shitload of work. Anyway, I gotta say I screwed up that day. I never should have done it. It's the worst fuck up of my life, and I've had my share. I should have kicked myself in the ass for even thinking about accepting that fucking contract. Hugh? 
Hey, you! You be a good boy, or I guarantee you'll be limping for the rest of your life! A hot, huh? In this place, scum like you learn to keep their heads down real fast. Save your energy for the work I'll be giving you. You'll need it if you don't want to drop dead on the job. Master, that one has the mark of the blood jaws. If he has to kill himself on the job, maybe he'd be a good candidate for the role. Another blood jaw? Hmm. Well, the last one was a lot of fun to watch. And this one looks like he's got potential. Fucking traitor. And here I was hoping you were dead. So be it, Bloodjaw. Seeing as you want violence, the row is for you. A combat to the death. And I want to see blood, Greenskin. Put on a show for us. Fight like a lion and don't disappoint us. Take him away. You deaf? Oh, you really want to taste my club? Come on! Move it, you pile of shit! You know what we're getting into? They gave us weapons, so we can entertain them. With a combat to the death in the streets of the mine. Just shut up. I'm not gonna kill you if that's what you're worried about. Ha! <laughs> I would have preferred to have that honor. But I don't figure I'll survive to the end. The scum will get me before then. I've been here too long. I'm exhausted. If you've been here that long, you surely must know Marlock. <laughs> I'm afraid so. A traitor in the Archivist's pocket. You must have seen him when you got here. The Archivist decides who lives and dies, and Marlock gives him advice. This guy's too old. That other one's good for turning the wheels. A real dog. And that's the way he'll die. What'd he do to you? It's personal. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna get him. That Archivist spoke about another blood jaw. You know what happened to him? Yeah. It wasn't that long ago. They sent him to the road, too. He was incredible. Nothing could stop him. Then a ton of those bastard prison warders came down on him. Wore him down. They killed him. That's pretty much what's gonna happen to you now. They're orcs, but they're not brethren. Sticks. Talk about a pile of shit. How'd you end up in the row so fast? Couldn't keep your big mouth shut, huh? You walked out on me. 
I got you through. But you just had to complicate things, didn't you? Good thing there's not just ass kisses. An orc told me how to find you. Shut the fuck up, Rakash. You can tell me all about it when we get out of here. And you better make it good. Great! Now you're welcome. Always happy to save your ass. Bring on the berserkers. I think we're far enough already. Nobody will be able to see or hear you here. Yeah, I noticed. And what were you hoping for? To take us out, now nobody's looking? Not scared your trap's gonna turn on you? It's not a trap. I am Odek, son of Eok and Asher of the Scum of the North. The Resistance is expecting you. Come on, I'll take you to a safe place. Your equipment's there, Bloodjaw. Hey, you! Not so fast! How do we know you're really with the Resistance? He introduced himself using our codes. He wouldn't bring up clan and family if he was going to tarnish them with lies and treachery. Oh, of course! How stupid of me! It's not like you can just make up names like that. By the way, I'm Styx, son of the Grand Inquisitor, and Dame Gertrude of the Flaming Stick in the ass! Now we know each other, I hope you'll never doubt me again. And you'll be kind enough to swallow everything I spit at you, forever. I don't expect a goblin to understand the honor codes of the orcs. Or any other honor codes, I might add. But hold your tongue all the same, Rakash, if you don't want to end up like your clan. And then what happens? Barman wants to meet you in person. You'll know more than me soon. Your victory sent out a strong signal to everybody. 
The pace should start picking up now. I'm supposed to know him? Not officially. He's a very influential human. His connections with the Orcs and the Resistance have to be kept 100% under wraps. We owe him everything here. <sighs> We're right behind you, Adek. We're there. Here, you're safe to rest. Nice place. And your resistance is where? At work, mostly. This place is a headquarters, not a barracks. Everyone's a slave in the mire. Got anything to fight with? We're getting ready. The boxes there are full of weapons we've been stocking up since we started this hideout. Some have been stolen, but it's dangerous. We don't want the prison warders to go looking around here. Most we got with Borrowman's gold. Is there a black market here? <laughs> that would be too easy. But no. The Empire has complete control in the mire, and they come down hard. Brethren are executed every day, beaten to death, were sent to the road to die in public. The head foreman is in command around here, and like you saw, even though he's a greenskin, he's worse than the Quasan. He's the one who gets weapons from the Imperials, so he can keep his thumb on us. I keep the wheels greased so a few things break each time there's a delivery, and they get stored here. Being a prison warder is a good cover. And Barman, what does he want from me? I can't stay here forever. I came looking for a mage called Arkens. I know your mission is critical, Arkai. Believe me, you can't do it without Barryman. I'll tell him you've arrived. It'll probably take him a few hours to get here. For now, just take it easy. You're making one of those faces, Ark. I mean, even worse than usual. <sighs> oh, come on! I couldn't tell you in front of the caravan driver, and you'd have never gone for the idea of letting yourself get captured. I had to get you across somehow, buddy. You say to yourself, someone can't disgust you anymore. And then he proves you wrong. Okay, fine. I'm not forcing myself on anybody. I'll leave you alone if you really can't take me. Just get somebody to pay me, and then I'll get out of this shithole. I'm not talking about you, Rakash. You fought... like an orc today. I met my father, Marlock. He's here, in the mire. And he's why I ended up in the fucking row. What's the deal with you and your old man? How'd it get like that? He dishonored the Red Breath and... Sold his tribe to the Empire. Really? Sold? The whole tribe? We were surrounded, besieged, and just when we were getting ready to die with honor, he told us to lay down our weapons. He was the chief of the tribe. We had no choice. Had to do what he said. Uh, you mean he prevented a massacre? That may have been the best way to go, don't you think? You just don't get it. An orc lives on his own two feet. The soldiers had us on our knees. Humiliated. Broke our weapons. Okay, okay. And now your father is kissing the archivist's ass, if I got that straight? I see the problem. I want him dead. And I want to see his eyes when he feels it coming. Slowly. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty bad. But we're already in deep enough shit here. Gotta concentrate on your mission if you want to have a chance to see it through, right? Don't worry, Rakash. I won't need you to kill the Emperor. Soon you'll be able to get out of here and spend your money at the tavern. Ha! Huh. I hope so. We should go see your boyfriend Attic to find out where we're at. I'm starting to get bored. I passed on the message. Barryman should be on his way. He'll be with us as soon as possible. 
Arkai, I don't really know how to say it, but your popularity isn't doing us any good. What are you talking about? A riot. The miners are demanding to see you. Your victory galvanized them, and they started to provoke the prison warders. Several people are dead already, and it's getting worse. And you want me to calm things down? That's not really one of my strong points. Just show yourself, please, Arkai. These guys have nothing more to lose. They'll fight to the death, shouting your name. If you're really sure we can cover it up, okay. It's not the time to stir shit up. I'm sure. Follow me. I'm unbearable here. I'm baking. Stop whining and move. We're almost there. You... you've pulled off miracles. <laughs> At least there's someone who appreciates me. You got my money? I'm a bit short. Ah, uh, Arkans first. Your work isn't over yet, Styx. And here's Arkai. You give us hope, my friend. Good news is getting rare. Hmm, charming. And your passage goes where? To some woods outside the tower. It cost us dearly, but at least the Emperor gave generously to the war effort. Without knowing. And this tunnel will save lots of lives when the time comes. This is how you will get out of here, when you have Arkens. I came to this fucking tower to get that mage. Where is she being kept? In the Inquisition's jails at the bottom of the tower. Getting what happens to everyone they call a heretic. She was sentenced three days ago. I tried to use my influence to get her a pardon, but her high mage status made her a target for the Inquisitors. She'll be burnt in the next few days. <sighs> I respect the cause of the mages, but why do we need Arkans to reach the Emperor? The Island of Laments is surrounded by almost impassable reefs and currents. It takes more than just a navigator to get to the coast. Only a few Sisters of Laments can do it, and some High Mages, and Arkens is the last one of those. Without her, your mission is over. You won't find another way to reach the Emperor. I understand. We have to move fast. But not hastily. You're probably our last chance to stop this genocide, Arkai. Even if you reach Arkans' cell, they'll raise the alert as soon as you get into the pillar. Half of the tower will come down to get you and all the exits will be blocked. <sighs> what do you suggest? A revolt. Here, we raise the mire to take control of the tower. Or at least at the pillar, on the same floor as the mire, to stop the Imperials from intercepting you. It's... doable. We make a barricade, and hold it to give you the time to get back up with Arkans. After that, you come back here and go down the secret passage. <laughs> No way I'm letting my brethren die just to cover my ass. I'll go down alone with sticks. You just guide us to the pillar. Huh? You can't be serious. We don't stand a chance, buddy. He's right. It's suicide. And unthinkable. None of your Blood Jaws brethren have shown any sign of life. I'm afraid you may be the last member of the commando unit still active. You can't sacrifice yourselves, you or Arkens. You're the only ones who can make a difference. <sighs> Understood. Basically, I don't have a choice. So, where should I start? We've got to get rid of the head foreman. He's strong for the Empire and would never join us. That pile of shit wants my ass in a sling anyway. It'll be making a pleasure out of business. Right. But he'll be protected, Arkai. He's afraid of you. Your victory in the Row made you a hero for all the Orcs in the Mire. 
He knows you can kill him to take his place, and no one would lift a finger. And that's exactly what's going to happen. From then on, your brethren will follow you to hell. Right. In that case, it's time to move. I have to go play my part up there. Good luck, Arkai. See you soon? I hope so. I really do. Or one of us will have failed and paid the price. I will not fail. Okay, after the bridge, there. It's the foreman's quarters. The Imperials led us through like we figured, but we're gonna have to take out those two there. First, I'm going to talk to them. Stay back and keep your mouth shut. <laughs> what next? Okay, I'll shut up. I wanna see how you fuck up. The champion! In the flesh, brother. The head foreman around? Uh, yeah, but Gorkash doesn't see anybody at this time of day. Even you, you can't stay here. You hear that? You got no business here. Get out and take your dog with you. Huh. <laughs> I get called a dog by a fucking mutt. How do you like that? What? No human ass around to kiss to remind you of your place in the food chain? You. You can speak, Rakash? What do you think? Yeah, I can talk. And you weren't even a tadpole when I was whispering sweet nothings in your ugly mother's ear. What? She didn't tell you about me, son? Sticks. You just can't shut up, can you? I'll teach you. You're the blood jaw we're waiting for, right? Guess so. How'd you get here? Talk too much, but nothing more. So the head foreman wanted to keep me here to cook me. He won't be head foreman for much longer. The path's clear. Go find Adek. He'll take you somewhere safe. Yeah, I know the place. Don't worry. I'll go there as soon as things have calmed down. Glad you're with us, blood jaw. You give us new hope. I was right. You've been wrong about lots of things, Gorkash. But yes, I am here to kill you. Of course. What else from a savage like you? I know what you did at Bay Harbor, Arkai. Your reputation precedes you, Butcher. You are the epitome of all that is animal in orcs. You keep us in the shadows and the mud. You know what I'm doing here. You're looking for the beast, and here it is. Get ready to die face down in the mud, Gorkash. You'll pay for that, blood jaw. I also won the row.
What got into you? No, Arkai. He's one of ours. It's true. That's the orc that told me how to find you in the row. Oh, shit. Don't tell me he's your old man. Not anymore. You're angry over what happened when you got here. I understand. But I couldn't talk, especially not to you. Marlock is our chief archai. The chief of the Resistance. He told me that your reunion might be eventful. But please trust me. You sent me to die. I wanted the Mire to respect you, so you could become the head foreman. I did what I had to. Yeah, great. But if it wasn't for me, it'd have been the dead foreman. You could have intervened sooner, Rakash. Hey, with that blood rage he's got, timing's everything. And if I took a shot meant for him, we'd be no better off. The Rakash is called Styx. He's been making a name for himself while you've been disgracing ours. You show him some respect. It's true, son. He deserves respect. Listen, about the road, there was no other way. You had to become a hero so the Orcs would believe in you, or nothing would change around here. I knew you'd succeed. I am the head foreman. There's work to do. You're right. We'll speak of our problems later. Don't be too sure about that. The news has already spread. Good work, Arkai. Or should I say, head foreman? A handful of foremen loyal to the traitor has dug in at a shelter on the north flank. But they won't dare make trouble for us. All the other orcs will follow you to the death. Anyway, if you want to take care of these vermin, no one will stop you. But we have to keep getting ready. Next step, we start the revolt in the mire. Everybody ready? The fateful hour is approaching, yes. I'd be lying if I said everyone's ready, but we'll follow you regardless. Talk to Marlock when you want to launch the assault. He'll be leading operations. I sent for Drakan, the Shaman of the High Plains. His knowledge and wisdom will help us. Just what we needed, another Shaman. We're gonna conquer the tower at the head of an army of ghosts. Unless he slits our throats in our sleep, of course. The one in the catacombs was crazy, Styx. If he can give us the reign of the fearless, this shaman will be a great help during the battle. Exactly, son. You should talk to him before launching the assault. His help will be invaluable. Time is short. We have to bring together the main leaders of the Resistance and set up a plan of attack. Very good. That's the point of no return, son. But if you feel ready, I can organize a war council and launch the assault. Do that, father. Mm, okay. Garrosh, how many orcs do you have? Maybe ten, at most. I see. You're going to have to hold on while I get Arkens. Turg has some miners with him that can give you a hand. Marlock will lead the first wave with a dozen of his warriors. I need someone who knows the inside of the fortress. All right. We'll hold the position to the end. We have to. You'll have Garrish in support if things heat up. When Styx and I have sabotaged the drawbridge, that'll be the signal. And when we get back, you make a sortie. A sortie? It's suicide! You can't hold out forever. We have to keep the initiative. If we can't take control of the tower, you're all lost. The Quasan need slaves for their damn mire. And you've proven you aren't slaves. They won't be nice to you.
It's a good plan, Arkai. Really? You're going to get wiped out. I'll need the best warriors to create a solid combat group and limit the disaster. What do you have in mind? I need an eagle, a lion, and a cheetah. That's how the blood jaws work. The eagle should be a cold-blooded orc, a strategist to take the heights and use his experience to our advantage at the right time. The lion will be our champion, an unbeatable fighter who'll break through the defenses and crush the enemy's morale. And our cheetah will be the link. We need a fast and intuitive brother who can get messages through to you, Garish, and Adek without fail. I see. But we don't have much time, son. Garesh and Terg have gone to take up their positions. Adek has to join them at the time the assault is launched. We will have to draw on the orcs in the hideout. I'll deal with it. I'll talk with them and try to find out what each one can do. Good, son. Then come back and see me when you have your champions. I'll brief them before we launch the assault. Take us to see the foremen who are still resisting. They have scores to settle. With pleasure. I'll guide you to where they're hiding out. Here we are. Are you sure about this, Ark? For once, maybe we could do subtle. You mean leave them behind and not do anything? These guys are just traitors. They're not worth the effort. They're pretty much fucked anyway. If they don't get lynched by the rebels, the Imperials will execute them. Either way works for me. I have to talk to them. I want to understand. <laughs> talk to them, that's good. Wait, you're not serious. They served the Khwarasan, walked all over their own brothers. They have to answer for that. Ah, you're starting to think too much, Ark. It doesn't suit you. I won't fight, Head Foreman. I don't have the strength left. You never did, fucking Yellowbelly. At least try to show a little dignity for once. You're going to die, but first you're going to talk. Tell me how you sank so low, and what made you become an executioner of your own people. What made you a hero? I can't explain. My eyelids became too heavy, that's all. So, I closed my eyes and hoped the next time I opened them, I would see the sky. Our sky. That's not going to happen, traitor. Fine. One good deed. We done? Yeah. Back to the hideout. Excellent! That was like sexy, Ark. You got a gift with colors. Seriously. Hey, you wouldn't have a younger sister, would you? No beard preferably. Shut the fuck up. Ha! <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Come on! Don't flatter yourself, buddy. What an image. Ugh. Oh, I just throw up a little. We're ready. It's time to launch the assault. Yes, I think we're ready. No regrets? No, we have to go now. There's no more time to lose. Very good. We're going near the drawbridge, and we'll wait for your signal. Good luck, son. Hmm. Thank you. Ford, you ready? Uh, not really, no. I mean, are you sure about this? You're really gonna throw me over there? Sticks, there's not much time. Trust me. Okay, okay. Sorry, Huck. I'll do it.
No, no, hang on a second. Hang on a second. What now? Are things cool with your father? We can talk about it, you know? You shouldn't let this story get to you. You got to concentrate. Do you trust me or not? Well, uh, of course I trust you. But it's kind of far, you know? It's about 20 yards, right? I'm not sure. You can count in the air. Now go! Fuck! Fuck! Take up a position. Good luck. of these orcs, my son. It will probably be their last combat. Yours too. So you show you're worthy of them. You want me to die. Here. I know. But one day you'll understand. Our clan had to survive. To die here? Far from the sky? As slaves and traitors? No. Our clan should have died there. With honor. Then you wouldn't be here today to save the Orcs. I'm watching you, son. And despite the sacrifices I made, I am proud of my decisions. I have a mission, and don't want to waste time arguing with you. But you can redeem yourself. Make sure you stand fast, as long as possible. I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. Farewell, my son. Come on! We'll hug each other afterwards. The sooner we're back with Arkans, the fewer people will die. And don't forget, she's gotta be having a rough time down there. It's no secret the Inquisitors hate the mages. If she kicks it, you can kiss your little cruise to the Island of Laments, and your mission goodbye. I know. Let's go. get killed, but I've got nothing to lose. No problem. Have fun. Hey, you know where the cells are? The cells? Uh, down below. But, well, this place is worse and worse the deeper you go. You know, it's like a real descent into hell. Yeah, I get it. Thanks for the tip.
Whoa! What kind of parties do they throw down here? There! We're there! That has to be her! Is that another mage with her? Uh, it looks like. Maybe it's our lucky day. Doesn't happen often. I'll open it. Shit! Don't understand! I picked the lock, but it won't open. Something's stuck. Arkids. Arkids. But what did they do to her? They broke her. Her consciousness has been buried. Okay. So how do we dig it up? Mages. You have to take her to a monastery. They'll know what to do. But she won't survive the trip. Great! Really? We took out half the Inquisition to save her, and now we're supposed to just leave her here? Arkans, I couldn't. I'm leaving you in better hands. <laughs> she'll live. Her body'll live. But to free her soul, she needs mages. <sighs> her fate is in your hands. Watch over her, please. Sure. But who's watching over you? Hey! Huh? Oh. Fuck! He's fucking dead! She's looking better. Didn't you hear what I said? He just died! He saved her. It's up to us now. Let's go. Okay. Guess I won't be slipping on all the tears here. You have her. Well done. All this was for a purpose. You should go now. Don't hang around. Go back to the hideout and take the passage out. And my father? Is he alive? He stayed in the front line. With the others. How's the battle going? We did what we could. But we can't hold out much longer. It's a massacre, Arkai. It's the end. You can't stay here. We didn't even have enough to equip our brethren. Some went barehanded against the enemy, hoping to take at least one with them. But no one believed. And the squad? Gone. In the blink of an eye. They were trapped and wiped out right away. It's a fiasco. Hmm. So be it. Farewell, brother. Good luck. Good luck to us all. Well, we got through it, though. But wait till you see at what cost. The rebels defended themselves well, but they were dead meat from the beginning. They were just there to act as a diversion long enough so we could pick up the pretty mage. The Imperials were gonna take back the tower in a hurry, and the reprisals would be legendary. A real massacre. What's more, we had to see the state of the magnificent mistress of the oceans we'd gotten out. Arkans wasn't going to be of much help to us without the help of the other mages. We had to get her to one of their monasteries right away, before she fucking died. And of course, it was days away, and my ass never froze so hard before, or since. All that for a freaking damsel in distress. Total cliché when you think about it. But Art was really into it. Nothing was gonna stop him. He knew he'd left lots of orcs to die in the past, including his father. But he was the only one left to finish the mission and put the Emperor down for good. And there was only Arkans to take him there.
We've been expecting you. I can see that. My name is Saranth. I'm the head of this monastery. I felt the heartbeats of High Mage Arkans in the fluid while she was nearing this place. You felt her heartbeats? You wouldn't even let me touch her ass. Guess it's a good thing we brought her to you. I'll take my leave of you, Archmage, as you're obviously going to be busy. Where's that soldier going? Styx, take care of him. W wait. He won't say anything. He's a friend. She's the one you should be most worried about, I think. Brothers, look after High Mage Arkans. I'll be with you in a few moments. This is a delicate situation. But you did well to bring her to us. Please, be welcome. You are safe here. Mm. We may just have done something real stupid coming here. I know what you are thinking. But this is a just man. He will ensure his soldiers do not take action. Just? He's an officer of the Empire. But he is honest. He is here in disgrace. He refused to obey orders in an effort to spare Orc lives. Well, what do you know? And are all the soldiers like him? Because hey, if I gotta get killed, I'd rather it was by good, honest folk. Seriously, Ark, I got a bad feeling. Welcoming you here without denouncing you, welcoming her who is under death sentence, exposes our entire order to the persecution of the Inquisition. Do you really think that if I was not certain of this man, I would have let him see you? Well, yeah. Especially if you were planning to fuck us off. Sorry. Denounce us. High Mage Arkans requires assistance. Our assistance. And your cooperation. We sensed her suffering from the Sanctuary. Her spirit... is far. You have any herbs or stuff to get her back on her feet in a hurry? Her physical wounds are not the ones doing the most harm. It is her consciousness that I am concerned for. Uh, it's just that we're kind of pressed for time, you know? Uh, of course. Follow me. She is in the meditation hall. I must reach her spirit if I am to listen to it. In her state, it may take some time. My friend Arid here can doubtless avail you of his knowledge in the meantime. I am a mage smith. I can breathe on metal and sculpt it to unveil its full potential. And I thought I had strong breath. No, seriously. Can he improve our weapons and stuff? I've heard of that. I'm kind of curious to see if it really works. Let me have one of your weapons or pieces of armor, and I will demonstrate for you. Interesting. Thank you. I owed you that much. Despite her efforts to protect us, Arkens' intense suffering in the Sanctuary was felt in the very monastery. You relieved us of great suffering, by wresting her from the hands of the Inquisition. There was another mage in the Sanctuary. I know. Sirene. We felt his light extinguish. He could not bear the thought of her suffering, and set out to save her. Alone? It was madness. But he knew we would not approve. Above all, he knew informing us of his decision would endanger us all. To be honest, we wouldn't have done it if we didn't need her. I have a vital mission to accomplish. Yes, I'm sure you do. Our order must remain neutral, but I can only wish you achieve success. If only to see her return to us. She will come back. Well, yeah, but she's gotta wake up first. And we gotta get out of here before something bad happens. Seriously, Doc. I don't like this place. That officer of yours, 
You sure you can trust him? As I told you, he is a friend. Hmm. I've been fucked by most of my friends. I remember this one time. We gotta be the most hunted greenskins in the entire Empire. Your man there must be under a lot of stress. For him and his boys, this is the chance of a lifetime to get back in the good books. Probably. But he is a man of his word. I would trust him with my disciples if something were to happen to me. Sure, that's easy for you to say, White Skin. For the rest of us, things are a little different. Gonna take a while with your buddy there? I will require a few hours. Probably more, if my friendships are to be the subject of debate. What do you think, Mark? Are we gonna trust an Imperial officer after all? Or do the smart thing and waste his ass? Hmm. Let's just say you're right. Hey, he's still an officer. A fucking volunteer who climbed the ladder and everything. Not one of those bastard militia that do the rounds in the rain. Are you truly deciding whether this man should live or die? I told you, he is a friend. I'm sorry, Saranth, but Styx is right. We can't take the risk. And you would silence all his men thus? They are veterans, hardened soldiers. Such a course is both perilous and gratuitous. Ooh, gratuitous. I've been dealing with you humans for over a century now. I know what you're made of. Gratuitiveness. This is madness. We'll see. Keep an eye on Arkans. We'll be back soon. <laughs> we made the right choice. We don't know how long it'll take the mage to heal Arkans. No point sticking around. We've gotten this far. Let's get it over with. Neither the Empire nor the Inquisition can know we're here. We leave no survivors. Ha-ha! <laughs> Archive, yeah! That's the spirit. No witnesses. That's rule number one. You do realize what you've done is taking us to a dead end, right? Whatever happens in this battle, a lot of brave people will have died for nothing. Yeah. You see the tracks of my tears? But I keep telling myself that at least you're not gonna squeal on us to the Empire. Well, I don't know about that. For your information, Goblin, a messenger has already been sent to alert the commander of the Imperial forces. You won't catch him. We're too late. Oh, I wasn't planning on warning anyone. My presence here is more of a punishment than anything else. I answer to very few people. But you attacked my soldiers. You killed my men. I have to explain that. And especially, out of respect for my brothers in arms, I cannot stand to one side. You have put my honor, my responsibility, and my authority in doubt. And you will pay the price for it. see Saranth. I hope they're done with Arkans. We can't stay on this iceberg forever. The Empire will soon be alerted to our presence. You're going to... Yeah, your butt was a pretty bad loser. And how about Arkans? Be gone. I see that patience is yet another virtue you lack. I have not even finished examining her. Please, wait outside. He needs to learn some fucking gratitude, Ness. It's lucky we need him or he'd be bleeding from both ends. Yeah, he's acting like we killed his best friend. He should pick his friends better. That Imperial soldier of his ratted on us after all. So where we at? We're gonna be here all winter. 
Is she conscious? Her consciousness flows like a stone, farther and farther, more and more deeply. I love it when you get mystical. What's that supposed to mean? Every hour, every minute, her spirit is farther away. She is fleeing and cannot come back. She doesn't want to. Not after what she's experienced. She wants to die? I'm not sure. She's protecting herself above all. We can save her, bring her back, but it will take time. We don't have time. I know, but it would take me months to regain her trust and bring her back among us safely. Yeah, well, we gotta find another way then. I'm a busy man. There is a quicker way, but it is worse than the inn itself. Rape. You must rape her consciousness. What? A psychic rape. You must force a passage through her spirit, discover what ails it, and make her accept it. One way or another. It is an extremely dangerous undertaking for her and for you. Our entire mission is dangerous. And how did your whatchamacallit actually work? I mean, how exactly do we get into her spirit? You will have to place your faith in me. This is a simple ritual without risk. The problem does not lie with entering her spirit. So let's get going. Get on with your ritual. We'll take care of bringing Arkans back to our world. You are the ones who brought me out of the Sanctuary. I'm Arkai, and this is Styx. Styx? What's your problem? Where exactly are we? This place smells of death. Only he can answer. Oh, fuck me, not this place! I did everything I could to get it out of my mind, to wipe it from my memory! Calm down. What happened here? This is where I grew up. The monster is watching us. It's waiting for you, over there. A monster? Don't try to scare me, kid. I'll take care of your monster for you. And then you'll do me a favor and wake up and take us to the Island of Laments. I don't... I'm sorry. I only know that we have to move forward. A monster? In my head? I'm not getting paid for this shit. I'll show you what happens to monsters in my head, you'll see. Consciousness. That thing is hurting him. Be my children. Take of their flesh. Take of their souls. Eat and grow. 
I'll look after him. You cover us. <clears throat> Thank you. These things aren't my brothers under... What? I... I fathered them. I'm the first of these fucking rats. What the fuck are you talking about? How is that even possible? Accept yourself, Stinks. Accept your origins. Accept me. But I don't want to remember, for fuck's sake. If I got you the hell out of my skull, it was for a good reason. You're not me. That's not me. Any of it. That's not me. We were an orc, you and me. A powerful orc mage. Too powerful. Or maybe not powerful enough. Too hungry for power, that's for sure. We found an easy solution with the Amber, and it corrupted us. We became a grotesque avatar. A deformed orc. We created the first goblin. We are the first goblin. The one all others are descended from. The father. Stop talking bullshit. Stop denying it. Stop denying your origins. Stop denying me. Come with me. Come. Fill the emptiness in your soul. my past so deep I completely forgot it. It was too hard to accept. Too hard to live with. Everything I've done since is just to survive. But that's over. I have to accept what I am. Live with it. Instead of survive without it. All this power. It'd be pretty stupid to just walk away from it, right? to move on. We can't stay here. I can feel the dream starting to shrink in. The dream? That's a good one. I was an orc, I became the first goblin, and I fathered the rats. That's not a dream, it's a fucking nightmare. Too right. It's pretty much the worst thing I've ever heard. first. were massacred. We got there at the end of the battle. Too late. Everyone was already dead? No. I went berserk. I lost control. I killed the survivors, both humans and orcs. That's why I left my wife and son. That's why my clan threw me out. And why I joined the Blood Jaws. I'm too dangerous to stay near the ones I care about. Shit. So you're the Butcher of Bay Harbor. Sorry about that, buddy. We should keep going. This part of me has... 
has to die. No, Arkai, don't kill him! What the... What are you doing? Let me go! Now! You have a choice. Help him. Help your berserker self. Help him! Trust me! Now you can choose, Arkai. Kill your berserker self and you make him more powerful. Don't touch him and you become the master. Think about it, because it's going to make a big difference. Don't get blinded with rage. Zirkins. We can't lose her. There she is. Shit, she doesn't look good. What do we do? She has to go inside. She has to go in the cell. Uh, are you sure about that? Doesn't really seem like the most outstanding idea you ever came up with. And it's not like you... I trust my instincts. You got a better idea? Just remember, psychic rape. We've got to get her to accept what happened. Yeah. Okay. Right. Come on, Hawkins. Get in there. Wake up, all of you. We gotta snap out of it. How do we do that? Come on, wake up! Come on, come on! Please, wake up! Get up! We're running out of time. Wait, what's going on? Mercenaries. They're everywhere around the monastery. What? There's an Inquisitor leading them. I've had your escape route prepared, but you'll have to hurry. They're about to attack. Shit! And you couldn't wake us up earlier? No, you would have died, and I as well. And how did the Inquisition hear about all this? How are we gonna get out of here? I sent Arid's disciple to prepare our boat so we can get away. But we really must leave now. There's not a moment to lose. The 
zealot? Joran! We have to go. Go! Get down there, hurry! We have to reach the boat. Are you all right, Hawkins? What kind of a boat is it? I heard the island of Laments is supposed to be a real bitch to get to. Don't worry. As long as it floats, we'll make it. The boat doesn't matter. I can get us there. Hurry. We don't want the Zealot to catch up with us. Come on, this way. Sorry, I told the young mages to flee this way. I should have told them to send the elevator back up after they went down. You had a lot on your mind. It's not a killing offense. Gotta keep moving. Don't stop. Get in. others got away. Most took the other boats. I just hope they're already at sea. It's not far now. We must hurry. They're right behind us. Cross the bridge. Hurry! Take him on! You have sealed your orders, fate, old mage. Your heretics cannot withstand the Inquisition. Arkins, the bridge, quick! Until none are left to stand against us. Inform the commander of the Imperial forces and the Lords of the Inquisition. The Matrix are accused of harboring the fugitives, and thus of abetting all the crimes that you Greenskins may have committed. The penalty for such acts is death. got away. I... I hid when I saw them arrive. I'm sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. There was nothing you could have done. The High Mage Saranth is no more, is he? No, nor is our order. Nothing will be as it was. We are fugitives now. Is that clear? 
I... Yes, it's clear. Well, how about this? We need to get the fuck out of here before more of them come. The Zealot got his hooks into us in a hurry. I guess he just followed Arkin somehow. We barely got out of there. The mages weren't so lucky. Kinda looks like everyone unlucky enough to cross our path ended up paying double, one way or another. Just had to hope that it would be the same story with Emperor Damocles once we got to the Island of Laments. The crossing wasn't exactly a breeze, but what they said about Arkans was true. Without her and her vision, we would never have made it to the island in one piece. The girl did her part. Now it was up to us. We had to get rid of the Emperor before he got the elves and the dwarves on his side, or the future of the Greenskins was gonna be one fucked up nightmare. And here you are on the Island of Laments. We'll wait for you here. Wait, Mikal. Maybe we should show them the way. You've done your part. And you've even paid the price. You worry about keeping the Order of Mages in one piece. It's up to us now. All right, she knows the place. Would a couple of tips as to how we can avoid getting eaten alive be too much to ask? You'll be facing experienced and cold-hearted warriors. A far greater test than the Empire or Inquisition troops. They're fast, relentless, and incorruptible. It's not by chance the Emperor chose this island to meet the Dwarf and Elf envoys. This is doubtless the safest place in the entire region. Yeah, I know. I met a former sister at the Wall. I'm talking about logistics, their strategy, information that could come in handy, you know? Well, if you knew one, imagine meeting a few dozen, armed to the teeth, completely fanatical, and on their turf. You're in the middle of their territory here, where they're at their strongest. Yeah, so you mean don't expect a cakewalk. That's just great. <laughs> you always freak out when you can't go through the back door, eh? Hell yeah, I'm shaking like a leaf! Thank the stars you're here to protect me with those big, strong arms of yours. So, we going? Wait! Do you want me to take a look at your equipment? I'm a disciple of Erid, the mage smith. It'll be fine, thanks anyway. Right, let's go! With all the time we've lost, we're gonna miss our meeting with the Emperor. You be sure to stay alive. Don't worry. We'll see each other again. There's a damn temple. Shit, we're not out of this yet. The Emperor better be here. I don't really feel like fighting all these assholes and their fucking dogs for nothing. You're forgetting my dead brothers in the mire, and the mages. They had to put up with a lot more than that. Yeah, well, hey, don't start getting all sentimental on me. Now's not the time to get soft. Don't worry about that. No one's giving up. Yeah. You know I did my job, right? I was supposed to bring you here, and I did. Now the rest of it is your business. Don't give me that rock-eye shit. 
I know damn well you want to see the end of all this as much as I do. Yeah, yeah, but with your legendary finesse, you'll probably fuck it all up. And if you die, somebody's gonna have to get the job done, right? We started this together. We finish it together. Enough with the honor bullshit. No one cares. If we screw this up, we won't get a second chance. So you do your job, and I'll do mine. Yeah, I'll create a diversion and die nobly. You kill the Emperor and end up being the only hero. Hey, yeah, that sounds good. Let's do it your way. <laughs> You're all right, Styx. Maybe you dreamed true after all. You really were an orc. Yeah, yeah, and you're proud to have known me and all that shit. Look, I have no intention of dying for you, or anyone else, actually. So shut up and let's go. What about this way? Looks good to me. I'll see where it goes. I'll keep going while you check it out. Ah, it's fucking quiet here. Nah, he won't make it. It's just not gonna happen. I have the feeling he will make it, and you'll lose that bet. There's a lot of movement down there. He can't be very far now. Get this far? That one's a real demon. Nothing stops him. Ha! I told you! Hang on, it's not over. I don't see what could... Oh yeah, this time I think it's over. The dwarves and the elves are finally gonna wake up, and there! Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that too. In the meantime, we're the ones who have to wake up if we don't want to burn. Kill the green skin! Green skin. Come in, please. But no, no, wait, green skin. Well done. Congratulations, Arkai. Words do not suffice to express how proud I am of you. Really. Thank you, Baraman. I never could have done it without you. Of course. But I really must thank you, my friend. You have given me the world. <laughs> Now, arrest this green-skin abomination. I don't want it wriggling during the introductions with our guests. Speaking of which, have them brought in to me.
assassin, as are all your ilk. You see, my lords, you see how these creatures have murdered our emperor. Did I not tell you? These orcs must be subdued or exterminated. They are barbarians, savage beasts. A blood jaw. Let him live. He must be punished publicly and made an example of. My lords, I regret I must cut short this meeting. The situation is chaotic. It is that. Your emperor is dead, Berryman. If your wall could not prevent this creature from committing such an act, then none of our peoples are safe. None. It is terrifying. Even the Sisters of Laments could not stop it. We absolutely must put an end to the threat of the Orcs. Protocol calls upon me to ensure the Regency, until the son of the Emperor should reach majority. The Empire will soon fall upon dark times, my friends. Dare I hope for the support of your peoples? My people will be informed of the situation. I shall submit to them that we should cooperate in helping the Empire recover. And also, of course, that we should work in close collaboration with you in the struggle against the Greenskins. And our Queen will be told of what happened here almost before our eyes. There is good reason to expect that you humans will receive the support of the Dwarves in all you do. I thank you for your clarity of thought, my lords. I trust that after this unmentionable tragedy, our peoples shall, together, triumph with more strength and goodwill than ever. I must nonetheless attend to several tasks here without tarrying. I beg you to forgive my indiscretion, but the situation is yet chaotic. We understand, my lord. We will shortly meet again to discuss this tragedy and the measures that must be taken. Good luck to you, Regent of the Human Empire. Have our elite troops escort our guests to the borders of the Empire. The Sisters of Laments have failed, and so I turn to you. Nothing must happen to them. Ah, Archai. You played your part perfectly, you know. In every way. You simply must attend my coronation. You'll see. It will be magnificent. And then I'll give you to the people. A public execution with great ceremony. They'll adore it. And therefore me. It's the least I can do for you. After all you've done for me. Thanks to you, I am the head of the Empire. Thanks to you, the mages are no longer an obstacle. So upright, so popular, so troublesome. The means at my disposal for desecrating them in the eyes of the people were limited. But now, every member of their order is guilty of aiding the assassination of the Emperor. The hunt has already commenced. Heretics will be hounded and burnt at the stake. Oh. And thank you as well for testing the tower's defenses. The Pillar's garrisons have been punished for their laxity. And the rebellion has, of course, been suppressed with exemplary violence. Other slaves had to be brought in, such was the scale of the massacre. These marvelous towers must be fed. But now that the elves and dwarves are prepared to help us subjugate you orcs, I'm no longer concerned. I will have my slaves. Your people will disappear, so my towers can rise above the Empire, and the world will merely behold a symbol of justice. After so many years, my dream is at last within reach. But do not be jealous. Your name also will be enshrined in history. You are already legendary, Archai. Take him, but do not damage him too much. Is the cage ready? What do you mean, not yet? Get on with it! What the...? His goblin!
Well, that's just great. Like he's gonna pay me now. What a prick! Let's get out of here. I have to kill that son of a bitch. The Emperor was just a puppet. His puppet. Boromir is my real target. No, what we really got to do is get back to the beach and get off this island as fast as we can. We can't get him here. He's got to be out of our reach already, bastard. Whatever you want to do, you can't do it without a plan. And right now, the best fucking plan is get out of here. I told you we'd meet again. Forget it, Princess. Now's not the time to get all kissy-kissy. What happened? Barman double-crossed us. That bastard used us. Barman? But why would he do that? Explain. A lie. A plot. So we would condemn ourselves, the Greenskins, and the mages in the eyes of the world. And what does he gain from that? Everything. He becomes Emperor, gets rid of the competition, and uses my people to raise his fucking towers. The guy has a little ego problem. It looks like towering to me. So, I suppose you did indeed kill the Emperor? Yeah, well, no. Barman had everything planned out. He had me kill the Emperor so he could take his place and accuse me of it. I see. And the wall? The mire? My escape? That was all part of the plan? Everything was set up? No. It was all set up, but it was all true, too. That's the problem. Everything is true. I've sentenced us to death, and all the evidence is against me. Yeah, but not just you. The Resistance, the Orcs in general, and the Mages. I'm sure he'll even find a way to accuse the Goblins and the Cripples. He's a smart guy. And we were really stupid to get reeled in by a fucking Quaz. He used us. We didn't even see it coming. He came across as an animal lover, got in touch with the Blood Jaws, and got the ball rolling so we'd do his dirty work. I just had to wait until one of them finished his mission. And it would have to be you. All the others failed. So now you're the only one left who can deal with this shit, Ark. Uh, no. The mages will help you. He's right. We're all involved. We're all being hunted, and we will all be dealt with in the same way. We must regroup and overthrow Barman. Together. I'll overthrow him, all right. From a clifftop. Take us to the coast, Princess. We got a lot to get ready if we're gonna do this right. We hadn't even gotten back from the Island of Laments when Barman had himself crowned Emperor. The bastard didn't waste any time. Even some of the Inquisitors and human nobles were starting to ask questions. Just not the right ones. Gotta say, if he had enough class to pay me, I would have given the guy a cookie. After all, I did my job. But of course, he didn't keep his word. Typical fucking human. Ark took it bad. Huh. <laughs> no kidding. We got everyone in shit. Deep. We had to go back to the tower and try to get back in touch with the resistance in the mire. What was left of them. At least we had the mages with us. Those guys can get into anyone's head and make them think whatever they want. It's not surprising the Inquisitors wanted them out of the way. They're not the kind that likes competition. Still, without them, I doubt we'd have ever found Attic and the others. you got out in one piece. If you can call it one piece, almost all our brothers are dead. There's no more resistance. Just a handful of fugitives stuck in what's left of an old mine in the mire. Until the Imperials decide to come sniffing around for one reason or another. We were all taken in, Adek. Don't hold it against him personally. He only carried out his mission. If we're all here, it's because it's not over. Now we have real allies. The mages are with us. 
Forty mages won't win a war with the Empire and its Inquisitors, but with the element of surprise, we'll at least be able to turn the tables in a major battle. Arkai told us how you laid siege to the Pillar so he could rescue Arkans. Now it's up to us to help you. We'll infiltrate it and take discreet control. There should only be a few Inquisitors there. It shouldn't be much of a problem. Infiltrate it? And then what? What do 40 mages think they're going to do against an entire garrison? It's 40 mages who don't give an inch when it comes to Inquisitors, brother. Trust me, I've seen what they can do. To be honest, we're not thinking of making waves before the signal is given. The troops will withdraw on their own or be neutralized silently. We're talking about mind control. Psychic rape. About what? Nasty shit. Forget it. These guys are just as good as the Inquisitors when it comes to going for walks through your head and making your belly dance. The alarm will only be sounded in the mire when the orcs have risen. All the orcs. The guards will be isolated and won't stand a chance. Father, you know the place. Once the drawbridge is down, you'll guide our brothers through the pillar to the exit and make sure nobody gets left behind. The exit? The exit, my friend. No question of staying in the pillar this time. You'll get back to the surface with the help of the mages, and you'll all go out through the main door. Get out of this fucking tower before it falls on your heads. Styx and me are going to drop enough kegs of amber powder to set fire to this entire shit heap and raise hell on every floor. After that, we'll cut our way to the throne room, just to make sure the new emperor is enjoying the show. I'm not too enthralled at the idea of burning a tower full of innocents, Arkai. The mages cannot condone such an act. We should content ourselves with... Idea sounds good to me. And I'll set fire to the fucking case myself, if you want to stay out of it all. We've already discussed it, Arid. We have no chance of withdrawing as long as the tower stands. They'd catch us and give no quarter. The Imperials will evacuate the civilians as soon as the fire starts, and that will help us as well. And I don't think your innocence would feel the same as you if it was mages or greenskins roasting. That's enough on the subject. Now, if everybody has everything straight, I've got things to do on the surface. Our kids will come back and give the signal when everything's ready. Wait, Arkai. We've got a few weapons from the last battle. Good ones. Can't have enough of them if you want to reach the Emperor. Help yourselves. As it would seem to be the occasion, if you wish, I can also see if I might make improvements to your equipment. Thanks. Show me what you've got, Adek. Fine. No point dragging our heels any longer. Arkens will help us get to the floor where the Imperial fleet is guarding its fucking powder. But she'll be back to give you a hand when everything's ready. Good luck to you all. Next time we see each other, we'll be in the open air. Or the Great Breath. Oh, I think Mother Earth has other plans for you, son of Red Breath. As far as you are concerned, the Great Breath can wait. Good luck to you, son. And we left again. Start a rebellion in the mire and kill the Emperor? No problem. We'd already been there and done that. I'd usually be venting just for the principle of it, but we had new allies. And there was this feeling of duty that sometimes kind of muddies things. We had to do it, or die trying. And at least we'd had the pleasure of doing something Barman didn't see coming. There wasn't much left of the Resistance, but this time the entire mire was gonna rise. All the orcs, and the Major's help was gonna make a hell of a difference. At the same time, Instead of going down, with Arkans' help, Ark and I were gonna go up. Just long enough to bring the new Emperor down from his pedestal. And set fire to his pile of shit forever. We're there. Still calm here. Information does not travel quickly in these towers, fortunately for us. You'd never think there was a war going on right under our feet. Do these humans even know what goes on in the bottom of that tower? I don't think they give a shit. They just live like fucking sheep. I'd make them bleed myself if I had the time to kill. Gentlemen, 
It would be a tragedy if our plan were to come to nothing because we spend too much time chatting. You're right, Princess. Ark, we got explosives to deliver. And an Emperor to kill. You must be getting used to it by now. I'll go back down to the mages. They should already have taken the pillar and brought the orgs from the mire. Don't take too many risks, Princess. We'll be sending you the amber powder, like we said. Just be ready. We won't be long. Good luck. We're there. You get everything into the elevator, if you'd be so kind. I'll keep watch. Okay, change of plan. I'm not gonna be able to hold them off on my own. Thank you so very much, Dix. Your help is invaluable. Right, let's go. I hope everything is going as planned down there. At least we did our part. It's not up to us to blow up this fucking tower. I trust them. So let's do what we came here for. Ah. Well, I spoke too soon. We're not out of this yet. Mm, just keeps getting better. How many of them do you think there are in this fucking tower? I don't want to know. Hurry up before more show up. What are you doing with those kegs? We didn't get the chance to celebrate our friend Barman's coronation with style. Ha <laughs> ha Way to go! You surprised me, Ark. Greenskins! The elevator's going back down. Nobody else can get through that way. How much time before everything goes off down there? Judging by the fuse, I'd say we still got a few minutes before the tower blows sky high. Perfect. It won't take me long to take care of His Majesty, but it's always good to make the nice things in life last longer. Back, Greenskins! How did you get here? Where are your masters? Our masters? Who does this guy think we are? Impressive, Arkai. But I have crushed far more rabid, you know. Permit me to introduce you. He's all yours, buddy. Ah, Arkai. I'm both touched and amused by your anger. But what do you hope to accomplish by attacking this tower? You're merely making it worse for yourself. I alone have the power to save your race. But if you kill me, you will condemn your people in the eyes of the world. Dwarves, elves, and humans will hunt you down like dogs. And the most fortunate will finish their days at the base of one of my towers. Funny you should say that, because that's where you're going to end up too. My brothers have front row seats for watching your corpse rot until I free them again.
Ark, more shit coming this way. The gr Grand Inquisitor, I've been expecting you. Oh, don't expect too much from me, Barman. I've come for the Greenskins. Your fate is of no concern to me. You use the Inquisition for your ends, but believe in nothing. You are a disgrace to the Order that you yourself created. Your greed is only surpassed by your ego. Look at you, wretch. Did you not think yourself untouchable five minutes before they arrived? There is nothing more to save here. Nothing. Release him, Greenskin. That's what you intended, is it not? Finish what you have begun. A battle awaits us, you and I. Oh, you're spoiling my fun, Zealot. Won't stop here. I will have you all killed. All of you. You'll have to survive this first. due time, and this time you shall not flee. You shall perish here. I'm done. I'm here and I got nothing better to do. So bring it on. Starting to take. Gotta do it fast or nobody's getting out of this place alive. We did what we came for. That's what matters. The fight, we're gonna do it like it ought to be done. Honorable words, Green Skin. It shall be so. You shall perish in the flames, as did my disciples. As did my children. You really should have kept the mask on, Inquisitor. Might have trouble getting it on what's left. And there you go. That was the job. Despite the unforeseen, the plan worked like a charm. Gotta say, what was gonna stop thousands of orcs who'd been promised blue sky? With Ark's dad leading them, best not get in their way. When they charged, it was like an earthquake. You couldn't even have heard yourself scream. At the same time, Attic and the mages set fire to the tower, both creating confusion and sending out a message to the entire empire and the Inquisition. Something like, everything has a price, or live by the sword, die by the sword. Anyway, you get the idea. Something orcish. 
The moral of the story? I should have kicked myself in the ass for even thinking about taking the damn job for fuck's sake. But I've been saying that from the start. It was worse for Arkai. Barman was a pile of mush, but his plan worked anyway. Soon the elf, human, and dwarf armies were going to attack the southern lands. Not that there hadn't always been problems, but we'd reached a critical point, and he knew it. He was right in the middle of all that shit. At least he found his father, and the strength to go back home and start over. He learned how to control his rage, sort of. At least he probably wouldn't kill his family. And I'll be there, the loyal soldier, stopping him from doing anything too stupid. Or at least trying. What? You think you could do better?